off. Maybe Jennifer will come back on. Um, okay, so tonight um, all we're going to do is we're going to look at the PHP version of the file upload download capability, and we'll do a review for the final. Um, don't think that'll take very long, so we'll probably be done in under an hour. Um, and then I'll stay on for a while for people that um, uh, that need and uh, have any questions. All right, so let's look at file. So now it's file.php. It looks basically the same as the others. We can enter some information. Select a file and upload it. And it tells us it uploaded, return to it, and then we can go ahead and also re-download it and open it. Um, we also have our delete functionality. So it works exactly the same as the JSP version, except it's all in PHP. So let's look at them. Uh, the first one, file, there's three files basically, files.php, download.php, and upload.php. Um, I believe I, did I give you a link? Yeah, Java files for the um, the download upload. So if you're looking for the Java files, actually, they are up there now. And I will upload these PHP files as well, so you'll be able to look at them. All right, so let's look at the first one. Uh, this is the JavaScript, which is nearly identical, except the files that it's going to are a little different. For the download, it's now going to download.php. And for the Java version, it was going to a download servlet, although in that same. For the delete, um, same thing, except it's now going to itself again, which in this case is files.php. HTML and JavaScript, other than that, are the same. Now, here's the start of the PHP. Similarly, the Java would start with the angle bracket percent sign. Extract all these, and actually, this is really not necessary now that I think about it, because we're not sending any uh, form field variables. Actually, if anything, this should be extract get not extract post. Yeah. If anything, it should be get, not post. There's no reason to do it. Uh, okay. <clears throat> the SQL statement uh, is the same as was in the Java version. The DSN is now the MySQL or the PHP version of the DSN in, in Java. They typically call it um, the URL. Uh, PHP, they call it the DSN or the data source name. The username and password are, are the same. They're, it's in between a try catch block, just like it would be in Java. Uh, in this case, we've got, we're constructing a PHP data object. Um, that's a one step thing. That's generally a two or three step process, two or three commands in Java, but otherwise the same. Here we're checking to see if a uh, argument was sent in called del file ID and recall up here that will get passed in by the JavaScript function that sends a delete request. All right. So if we received that as an, a parameter on the command line or on the uh, string then it will construct the delete command and prepare the delete command and execute the delete command thereby deleting the file from the table. Otherwise it's going to execute the SQL command up here to get all this information, prepare it, execute it. Uh, this is getting the column count, although I don't think that we actually need this. Now these are, let me just here, try to fix these. I did these in Notepad earlier, and the tabbing is always weird between Notepad and uh, other systems. Okay. And we had a while loop in the Java version that, uh, in that particular case, it did a result set dot next. This is a statement dot fetch, which is the equivalent, and it puts everything into an array. Um, so it's not an object; it's an array. The print statement. This is the equivalent of the out dot print, and we're constructing a row and a table. Each one of these is, again, this is an array that gets returned over here. In Java version, we would say something like result set 
dot get string one, right? So this is the equivalent of get string one, get string two, three, four, five, and so forth. And so it's constructing the um, the rows. Each row is in the loop. Closes the table down there. The rest of this is really identical to what we had in the Java version, except over here for the upload, we're now submitting to upload.php instead of upload.jsp. <clears throat> That's the main difference there. Other than that, exactly the same. Now going to the actual upload program. Any questions on the file files.php? On the actual upload.php, um, here we're saying, uh, we're checking to see if what was submitted was a command submit button submitted. How about a user file? The size of the user file is it greater than zero. So if we go back to files.php, we'll see that there is a submit button that has a name of CMD submit. Someone said no else for the if. You don't, which one up here? You don't need an else. If that's the one you're talking about, you don't need an else. Um, you don't need an else because if we don't get the delete file ID, we're simply, there's nothing to delete. So there's no, no reason to have an else. Um, the user file, that's the file that they're sending in, which will have some properties. Upload, so we're checking to see if they click this. That'll tell us that they click the, the submit button. This will tell us that the file they selected has a size greater than zero. So if that's the case, then we're going to want to upload them. And um, PHP has a, another global, ver, not global, but a, a um, preset array, uh, it's really an object, um, for files, anytime files are submitted. And it's in the dollar underscore files. And it's the file name, and these are the different properties. And the ones you're mostly interested in are name, which is the file name. A temp file is basically where on the server the file is temporarily put, because it's always it's going to be staged temporarily there. The size of the file is important. And the file type. So we'll take a look at each one of those. Um, so this is a little different than the way Java does it, because Java doesn't uh, use temporary files. Um, Java actually gets a stream, a bit stream. So as far as I know, there's no temporary file. So in this particular case, um, actually Java is more efficient because there's no file I/O. It's straight uh, bit stream. Um, but PHP does it this way. Um, open the file for read. The content will contain essentially all the bytes. It's an F read command. Anyone who's familiar with the old C style of reading and writing probably recognizes this. Um, FP is a file pointer, so these use very C-like commands for reading and writing files. Read uh, the file size that many bytes into content. So content will be a PHP variable that will contain all the contents of the file. Close the file. Um, this just takes care of escaping some quotes that can be a problem um, in databases sometimes. If something's got a, uh, uh, a, a quote as part of the, the text, that could cause a problem because single quotes are string delimiters. And so that just takes care of that. Also, backslashes can be a problem, as you know, so this, takes, this command takes care of that. Uh, the connection string, username and password, Connect to the database inside a try catch block. Our insert statement, which looks exactly identical to the one we used in Java. And then the insert statement binding all the variables the email address, the full name, the file name, the file size, file type. This is actually new, the file type that we added, that I added because it's pretty useful. And then the content, which is all the bitstream essentially, um, to that. And then finally execute it. And that will upload it using PHP. And then finally a link back. So if we look at um, how we did that, 